But uh, it's the day that's been hailed as Black Friday in July, and it's happening right now. But is it really living up to the hype? That's the big question. Amazon kicked off their 20th anniversary Prime Day celebration sale at midnight, and already people are tweeting out their disappointment. So we've assembled a full panel to talk about this madness. <laughs> Joining me now, first and foremost, HLN money expert Jen Westoven. I've got CNN money digital correspondent Paul LaMonica standing by and an online shopper like those of you at home who took part in the madness, Stephanie Moore. Jen, I want to start with you. You've been keeping an eye on everything that's been going on. What is the verdict? How are you feeling about it? Well, even worse than that is how is everybody kind of feeling about it socially? Mm -hmm. And I mean, I was personally underwhelmed, so I went out and tweeted and said, hey, everybody, what are you finding out there? Maybe, you know, my experience isn't yours. Mm -hmm. And what I got back was a whole lot of this thing is terrible. Uh -oh. And, you know, one of the reasons is the stuff that you could find. Um, so there's one bus junk. Uh, the <laughs> stuff that you could find was stuff like I saw a callus protector for your foot. Men's oh, travel man. socks. This is on the highlighted page. This isn't me digging deep. You know, and here I am looking for deals, and I'm finding stuff that looks awful. Yeah, I logged on this morning, and I saw 20% off disinfectant wipes. I mean, you got to be kidding me. I would buy that. That, would be <laughs> that, was, that was on the good side. I mean, things. I'll tell you, I did buy something. One box of baby wipes. I was only allowed to get one under this deal. Very underwhelming. Here's another person who says, Amazon has a lawnmower, a knee brace, and cat spray right now. Lol. Ugh. That's from Wubsnet. That really isn't going <laughs> to cut it, right? Why don't we go to, the, Stephanie, uh, to okay. Stephanie Moore real quick, Jen. And she, she's an online shopper. Uh, Stephanie, you there? I am. Okay, I want to find out, is this similar, what Jen's describing, to what you experienced as well? Just a, a load of being underwhelmed? Yeah, they really pumped up the sales this time. They had TV, they had radio, it was all over the internet, and... I got to tell you, the deals really stunk. They kind of plugged electronics, but I agree. The only deal I got was baby wipes. And it's yeah. not really a deal when people get one. And that, and that was a good one, right? Paul, I know yesterday and the day before you came on, you got us hyped up when they finally pulled the curtain back. And you brought up that $115 40-inch TV. Jen and I were talking about it. I didn't see it anywhere. Have you seen it's, it? Has that big deal been really released? It's really hard. It's really hard to find. If you just saw me, I was looking down a couple of seconds ago on air. I was trying to find it, but also... Along the baby theme, you got the diaper genie, 34% uh, off on a refill. So, again, moms and dads might be a little excited about mundane products to help clean up poop. But <laughs> it's not very exciting here. I mean, the deals are not as good as advertised. There are a lot of wait lists as well. And I think that's frustrating people who, you know, quite frankly, are having an easier time getting tickets on Ticketmaster for hot concerts than the best deals on Amazon today. Yeah. Do, do you feel, Jen, like this is going to hurt the brand, like, moving forward? Um, only if they don't learn from it and if we don't learn from it. So I would submit, and this is something I kind of wanted to ask Paul, do you think maybe in some ways, you know, when we all go to the mall and we see stores with 70% off right now and the discount rack, you know you're going to be weeding through junk. We just didn't expect that with Amazon. Maybe if we had our expectations put right, meaning us as well as Amazon, this would actually be something interesting. No, it's true. I think that many people are conditioned when they go to an actual mall, you see those closeout discount racks and you know, okay, I'm getting a bargain, but I realize that I'm not buying the highest quality products. With Amazon and also to a lesser extent Walmart, I think people were getting excited that this was going to be like Black Friday when you go to a Best Buy and you get a flat screen TV from a reputable brand name company for a lot cheaper than you would expect because everyone's really trying to pump up holiday sales. This yeah. is definitely a bit of a disappointment. I guess they said as many deals as Black Friday. Yeah, but they not didn't the say same kind of deals. The greatest stuff. That's a good point. <laughs> Stephanie, real quick, I know you've been encouraging people to sign up for Prime. Are you feeling like maybe you led the lambs to the slaughter a little bit here? Are you still going to be backing Prime for your friends? You know, I'm an Amazon Prime lover, but I don't think I'm going to be pushing their sales right now. I mean, I'm a little disappointed. I blogged about it. I tweeted it. I put it on my Facebook, and I kind of feel like I did lead them a little bit astray. But overall, still an Amazon lover, just maybe not a Prime Day lover. Yeah, maybe not a Prime Day lover. Important yeah. to make that distinction. Stephanie and Paul, thank you so much. And Jen, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me.